Oh yeah, join the Discord right now. It's in the description. Join the Discord. We're hanging. All right, we're hanging out. We're bros. Thank you. Hey, what's up guys? It's me. I'm back. Uh, gonna make videos for Warframe. The game. The game that we could do videos for. Warframe. Uh, look, we got the big change coming. The mainline update. It came out. Alright, March 2020. Uh, we're gonna see what's new. Uh, look, I'm gonna tell you what they ruined and what's good now. Check my fucking Vauban Prime out. Look, we switched to the ugly Vauban, okay? We can't ha have the good looking one. We gotta get the ugly one. Get the ugly Vauban Prime. 550 armor, 1290 health. We tanky, all right? We tankin' and hamhin. Uh, check this out. Changes to shotguns have been rolled out and full status is now uh, weird. Uh, it does things. So what they did was generally everything that was full status, like this Bjork Gadbor Kuba Dragoon, um, it was full status before. Now it's a piece of shit. Uh, look, it has uh, look, it has multi shot here, has status per projectile. Look, we we're gonna have a shit fuck ton of pellets going down range, and not all of them will be um, applying status proc. Paused enemies, level 140s, bang. We have five corrosive procs, two heat procs, and a slash proc. This is pathetic. This is very low status, and uh, I don't like it very much. So yeah, uh, look, you can. It's, it's just a matter of random chance whether you, you get like ten uh, corrosive procs or fucking you know six or four or sh dumb shit like that. Look, that's seven. It's just rolling the dice. So yeah, um, this thing would uh, insta kill these guys, but now it's like a fucking. It's like basically gambling, uh, just like rolling a ribbon mod gambling. Like what, what the fuck are you gonna get? Piece of shit, fucking no statuses at all, or a little bit more it's weird okay look so you saw that now full status things are no like not really full st are they even full status we'll never know we'll never find out um what has changed corinth low status shotguns are now fucking good okay look at this thing this is uh, a corrosive um corinth damage multi negative infested ribbon one blunderbuss one prime ravage a little bit of crit investment um shitload of total damage uh, we have damage per projectile heal, a uh, 1,000 corrosive per projectile, 6% uh, status per projectile, 22 multi-shot. Look at this build right here. This is a corrosive build as well. Uh, this is not a corrosive build. I'm a fucking idiot. This is a corrosive build as well with two dual stat mods. We have 13 status per projectile and still 22.3 multi-shot. Um, this is a good build. Uh, this will actually apply corrosive procs to enemies. And uh, on top of having a fuck ton of damage, it can also strip armor a little bit. So I would say that um, Corinth was buffed and it, it performs a little better now. I'm 90% I'm sure that it couldn't one shot a level 140. Um, that and the fact that um, Corinth is stronger and there's also the fact that armor scaling uh, was ramped down a little bit. Um, uh, when the level of an enemy grows, um, it the rise in armor and health and EHP uh, used to be exponential. It used to be an exponential curve. It used to be really sudden and extreme. Um, the the rise in, in their tankiness would be extreme. Now they ramped it. They they fucking controlled it. All right. They made a sort of. I don't think. I don't think it, it was even a good decision. But they made um, them less tanky. So level 140s are easier to kill now. And uh, I don't know if the Corinth is any better than what used to be, but. Um, it kills them. It kills 140s faster than it, than it did before, um, and I don't know how much um, does the nerf to the enemies contribute to that. So there you go. Um, Corinth, good. Um, Exurgis, you know my. Uh, th th this used to be also a full status shotty. It sim seems to still be a full status shotty. You know we got 9.7 multi shot. Um, the base multi shot for this thing is three. You get three base pellets. And you get uh, 10 pellets when you stack up a bunch of multi-shot well, here and in here. So you get 10 pellets and uh, you get a fuck ton of damage. Look, 71,000 damage on top of full status. Very good weapon. So we have this thing. Um, two shots per magazine, fast reload, and 70,000 damage. One of the best uh, builds there is. Oh, also I have to mention, this is also very important. Proc priority for IPS is now removed. So... Um, Impact, Puncture, and Slash, physical damage types no longer have a priority to proc in, ele uh, in status um, over elementals. So everything is equal now. So if you have a shit fuck ton of corrosive, you will be proccing a shit fuck, 
fuck ton of Corosa. So that's really good. That's good news. Um, we're going to be seeing less impact procs, thank, thank God, and uh, less puncture procs, which is good news. Uh, but as you can see, um, this fucking thing seems to perform exactly like it did before. Look, I, I got nine Corosa procs there, um, eight right there. Um, pretty consistent results. Look, six fucking, I don't know, I'm getting them. Uh, we can get kills with this thing rather fast. All right, it works. I think it's just as good as it was before because it's still a full status thing that does 70,000 damage. Uh, nothing new there. Um, other shotguns like Plasmor didn't change much at all, actually. Uh, it's still the same piece of dog shit, fucking trash. I don't even know. Comb seems to be a little bit worse. Okay. It seems to be a little worse. But um, my my build is cringe and I'm too ashamed to show you my cool comb build. So I'm not even gonna show you that because look, I don't want I don't I don't I would not like to experience the embarrassment of such a thing. Um, this thing, uh, you know, um, it now every shotgun acts like this. It has status per pellet. This this, ha this thing has a burst of four shots, I think, and each one of those pellets, the, those shots, has its own status chance. So you can still uh, spam a shitload of status procs with Kuba Cortex. They also said that they would fix um, this um, fire rate race set um, for quads and the the fucking things that could do this. Quads and court, this Cortex, the, the only two. They said that they would fix this, but they didn't. So it still, you know, still works. They didn't fix it. Um, they shouldn't fix it. It seems to be fixed now. Okay, this is my base fire rate with it. And I was I was still able to kill the enemies as fast as I could. Okay. It seems to jam up, but now I can spit out the ammo at an adequate speed. Look, they apparently the DE does not test their weapons. They don't test anything. They don't know anything about their game. They just roll out updates without knowing a fucking thing and give it to the people so they play test the thing they, they have no quality assurance they they don't have play testers playing their game for them they they don't even know how to mod anything they have no idea what the fuck they're doing so i guess uh, they didn't fix this after all oh yeah another change that um is worth mentioning um they removed self damage and added in this stupid bullshit watch this if i remove invincibility i will get staggered in this very dumb manner so if i shoot the floor i'll stop myself dead in, in my tracks Look, that's bullshit. Um, Opticore does that too. Um, never needed that nerf. Um, basically, they nerfed a really bad weapon, okay? Opticore, not a good weapon. It, it got uh, fucking out damaged by Kubachukur and has triple the fire rate of that thing. So it's like, wh whatever. Who the fuck would ever use Opticore now? I know it's my favorite gun, but um, it got, you know, power creeped. It, it's no longer usable. Why would you nerf it by doing this dumbass bullshit? Why would you, why would you ever... And this, keep in mind, this is with fucking a rank 8, a rank 2 handspring on. So, I'm like recovering much faster than people without handspring. This is so fucking annoying. Jesus Christ, what were you thinking? Goddamn idiots, man. Um, so, yeah, you would think that um, they would uh, remove, they would make it impossible for you to kill yourself with a weapon. But, as you can probably see, they didn't do that. They, they, they are so bad at fucking, they're so bad at playtesting stuff that they, they're just boomers they're dumb um so yeah that's another change that you should keep in mind some weapons can still kill you and should be a little bit careful um beam shotguns like phage uh fucking phantasma just nothing worth mentioning there um except that you can't kill yourself with the uh, phantasma anymore so yeah um how do i feel about these new changes i don't know man uh, i like the new fucking armor buff for my bob and prime the meta change with the weapons and how they work is going to be another thing that we're going to have to get used to just like the melee rework you know how they reworked melee and the whole meta shifted it used to be grand prime and redeemer prime and now it's dual sword scythes and fucking bala daggers and really complicated fucking builds that i can't even get my head around because i just care so little they changed up a million things again and we're gonna have to just get used to them we're gonna have to learn and have to fucking study the whole fucking system again and um i don't know i almost know as little as you i'm just trying to just fucking shit out a video so 
um, the YouTube algorithm blesses me and stuff like that. So yeah, um, make sure to join the Discord, please. Uh, that would be very nice. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.